32 NFL teams exist. Over 75 leagues have existed restoring great iron time. The NFL's official 100-year development, the NFL began in 1929. Today, we will talk about how every team got its name identity. Be sure to hit the subscribe button before you go. Also, give this video a thumbs up. Let's dive into it. The American Professional Football Association began with 14 teams, 12 in the Midwest, 2 in the New York. This group needed $100 for a franchise. Many early franchises had no logo. Teams were informal then, they weren't created. Jim Thorpe was unanimously elected president due to his name recognition in the National Pro Football League. Only two of the 14 original teams, the Decatur Staleys, now the Chicago Bears, and the NFL's oldest team, the Chicago Cardinals, now in Arizona, remained to celebrate the Leafs' 100th anniversary. Chris O'Brien inspired the Cardinals' name. He bought Cardinal clothes. The Chicago Maroons sold his faded jersey that someone called Maroon. It is Cardinal Red, not Maroon. Despite being the league's oldest, the two teams did not win the inaugural title. The Akron Pros went 8-for-8 eight eight that first season three times. The Pros also won the league's inaugural title. They also broke the color barrier. The Akron Pros are gone. Fritz Poehler played and coached that Akron professional squad since Diamond Field Super Bowl rings were not yet popular. All Pros received this little gold football pendant for their efforts. The bulky Brunswick Colander Cup, the league's championship trophy, is one of the NFL's greatest mysteries. After the first season, it was lost. Two clubs renamed themselves. The Decatur Staleys moved to Chicago, and won their first championship after the league's inaugural year. The Chicago Tigers dissolved, but eight new teams joined the league, which now had 21 Midwestern and Eastern teams. Several newcomers failed. The Tunnel won the Cardex, making it the NFL's shortest lived franchise. The Dexies, Midnight Runners, have team. However, the Green Bay Packers remained one of the league's most storied teams. A meat packing company in the Green Bay, Wisconsin, launched the Packers with $500. One of the first teams to play football in a stadium was the Green Bay Packers. Green Bay has played in the same city under the same name longer than any other team. The Milwaukee Badgers, O-Ring Indians, Rayson Legion, and the Toledo Maroon joined the league after seven clubs left in 21. The Staleys wisely became the Bears. George Hallis chose the Bears because they initially played in the Chicago Cubs Palace. He also wanted to link his new team to the more established baseball franchise because football players were bigger. Thus, the name had numerous meanings. Leagues caused an even bigger name change that year. The APFA became the NFL. As the 1923 season began, they wanted to be seen as national group. It did it without the Evansville Crimson Giant, who dropped out after the Cleveland Indians, Duluth, Cali's, and St. Louis started checked in. In 1924, three teams joined the league a year later, Frankfurt, Kenosha, and Kansas City. Though Kenosha race on in the Minneapolis left, the Blues changed their name to the Cowboys, Kenton returned, Detroit, Providence, Pottsville, and the New York joined, leaving the Giants as the fourth oldest team in the league. Camaro opened his establishment at the Upper Manhattan's Polo Ground as the Coogan's New York Giants moniker came about to link the pro football team to their big league baseball counterpart and gain some of the MLB support. Thus, the New York skyscrapers inspired Giants. In 1926, Akron, the league's first champion, became the Indians. Three franchises were eliminated, but the Rayson Legion and four others were aided after the tornadoes. The Brooklyn Lions, Hartford Blues, Louis Colonels, and Los Angeles Buccaneers, the league's first Western team, never played in LA. The LA Buccaneers settled in Chicago, played there, and subsequently traveled as a barnstorming club. The NFL eliminated over half of its team the following season, which significantly changed things. The Cleveland Bulldogs returned, and the New York Yankees joined the Young League, totaling 12 teams next year. Duluth and Buffalo will leave the NFL, leaving 10 clubs. The Cleveland Bulldogs became the Detroit Wolverines. They were short-lived, 
Buffalo, Staten Island, Maine State Tins, and Minneapolis Red Jackets returned the next season. As the NFL entered its second decade, club turnover slowed three franchises when two joined the Portsmouth Spartans, now the Detroit Lions, the fifth oldest NFL franchise. In 1931, the Cleveland Indians returned, the Red Jackets and the Tornadoes left in 1932. The Boston Braves, now the Washington Redskins, replaced them, but the league was down to eight teams. The league was at its smallest, striving to safeguard itself by keeping fever teams but making them more successful. The Cincinnati Reds, Pittsburgh Pirates, later Steelers, and the Philadelphia Eagles joined pro football in 1933. Reading the team's pre-game stories is funny. College Ray was hopeful. Our first-year team will surprise you. They lost their debut game versus the New York Giants 56 for 0. Philadelphia owners Burt Bell and Lloyd chose Eagles in recognition of the National Recovery X insignia, part of the Franklin D. Roosevelt's New Deal after the Great Depression. The Boston Braves owner changed their name in the 33rd season. Since the baseball team was named the Braves, George Preston Marshall chose the name Redskins to preserve the Native American concept. The first NFL championship game started with the Bears on their own 12-yard line because divisions were founded that season. The league champion was previously the team with the best record at the season's end. Chicago defeated New York 23-21, for representing the West. The title game started pro football prominence. The league's first year with the changes saw the same 10 teams return. The Cincinnati Reds collapsed mid-season and the St. Louis Gunners played the last three games. The only three NFL games, the Portsmouth Spartans went to the Detroit and became the Lions in 1934. The squad claimed the name was based on the Detroit Tigers. Coach, the Lion rules the jungle and we want to rule the league from 1935 to 1936. The NFL had its inaugural drought in 1936 with the same 19s. All college players were free agents. Often those players went to the richest teams. The Eagles drew Jay Bervanger, the inaugural Hisman Trophy winner from the Chicago Maroons. Bervanger would never downplay it in the NFL. Bervanger became a rubber company salesman because the Bears who brought his rights from the Eagles couldn't match his salary demands. In 1937, the NFL expanded to 10 clubs with the Cleveland Rams after the Boston Redskins moved to the Washington. Today's LA Rams are these. Their former GM Damon, Buzz Wetzel's favorite college football team was Fordham. So they replicated the name. The NFL stabilized in 1938 and 1939 as the 30s ended, but 1939 changed the league. The Brooklyn Dodgers hosted the Philadelphia Eagles before 13,000 fans. Although few noticed the NBC station's cameras, they televised the first professional football game. Though only visible in sections of the New York, the first TV broadcast planned the seed. The NFL television partnership ensured the game's financial stability and popularity. Two things made 1940 special. Pittsburgh changed its name from Pirates to Steelers when a steel worker suggested it. Given the area's steel sector, that stuck. The initial NFL Shield and Chicago Bears emblem of a black bear rushing with a football were adopted that year. It's this most NFL teams have changed logos multiple times. So watch the map to observe how updates happen. Until 1943, the Cleveland Rams seized operations but did not fold that season. The Eagles and Steelers merged to become the Steel Eagles because so many of their players were drafted into World War II. The Steelers and Eagles battled for years. They won their first season after combining with the Philadelphia Eagles a decade later. In 1944, the Eagles were back on their own, but Pittsburgh was still struggling. So they found a new team to merge with, the Chicago Cardinals, to form the Cardinal Pits. The Cleveland Rams returned. The Brooklyn Dodgers became the Brooklyn Tigers in 1945. The Cardinals and Steelers merged and both teams returned alone. 
The Brooklyn Tigers and the Boston Yankees merged to form the Yanks. But like the previous two mergers, it didn't last. In 1946, the Tigers folded, leaving the Boston Yankees alone. The Rams left for sunny Los Angeles that season, marking the first time games were played there. 1945 Cleveland Rams champions Dane Reeves took them to LA. The Browns returned that year to missing two seasons. In 2002, the Houston Texans joined the league, making it 32 teams. Tonight, 69,000 fans who were devastated when the Oilers left are here for their new team, the Texans. The Texans in Bellum is the only one of the 32 teams that has never been changed. The owner, Bob McNear, chose it over Apollo's and Stallion's 10 plus years. Teams changed their logos, most minorly. The St. Louis Rams returned to Los Angeles in 2016, and the Chargers followed in 2017 and 2020. The Raiders leave Auckland for Las Vegas again. Mergers, contractions, and name changes. In 100 years, the NFL has seen everything. We can only guess how far this map will reach in a century. This is it for today. Share your thoughts about the video in the comments. Have a great day.